this is everything I'm looking for in a cult horror sci-fi beautiful mashup. Um, I love B movies. I used to frequent a theater that would play a double bill of um, some pretty wild and wonderful B movies of the past. And I saw so many reflections and references of these, these kind of movies in this one, which I thought was just so fun. The kind of outrageous characters, the great action sequences, the uh, buddy buddy adventures, the foray into to zombies, into sci-fi, the absurdity throughout, all of it was there. And some of like the kind of, not grotesque, but very in-your-face sexuality of it is what makes that blending of the genres so brilliant. And I, I have been to the Mayfair, so I understand the lore around that too. And it was so nice to see a film set in Ottawa, not trying to be any other city, especially Canadian films try to pretend like they're shot somewhere else in like typical America town. But this embraced the Canadiana. This embraced the um, the sights and sounds of Ottawa that I also know very well. And uh, I thought this was brilliant. So funny. Stacked cast. The design and the playfulness throughout, it just seemed like this would have been such a blast to make. A ton of fun. Villains, heroes, zombies, and a haunting from a very vengeful ghost. I love the lead trio living at the haunted movie theater. So much warmth between them. The wardrobe and makeup sparkle, notably the drag wardrobe and makeup. The action sequences were so entertaining. Lots of gore and humor. Love those weapons. The writing was hilarious, full of mystery, such fun banter between the characters. You could really tell the whole cast was having such a great time. Even the outtakes at the end showed this. The CGI zombie kills worked so well and in such a comedic way. Perfect locations, fun to see footage in Ottawa, Canada's capital city. I feel like I've really experienced something. The characters were colorful outrageous scenes and I love how the main characters live in the movie theater that's like a fantasy for people like me who love movie theaters and live stage the characters that all played crunch all three of those actors I felt were comedic in an even way but in different ways and that was just a really interesting original idea to me Really enjoyed the Jaws actress. She was tough, but cool and complimented the other main characters well. Uh, big production. So many scene locations. It was a shock to see them go skydiving. It looks like it was really them. It, the whole movie was very reminiscent of the ensemble shows like Cannonball Run in the late 70s. It had a little bit of reminiscent quality of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Overall, it was just really fun. Satire throughout. I mean, you knew it was satire. Even when the scenes change, the wipe that they choose to use in the shape of a man's appendage just lets us know immediately what kind of film we're in. Um, okay? I mean, every character is extremely unique, um, <laughs> eclectic, memorable, and it's it's clearly an action odyssey with um, this aspect of physical humor. And um, you also have this musical aspect of it, too. And we get some exposition through these musical pieces. And it's definitely a very <laughs> unusual experience um, where it's, you know, you got the comedy, you got the horror, you got the romance, you got the adventure all wrapped up in one. And you have Crunch as amateur detective plus drag queen. And you have his friend Jaws, this fast food delivery, roller skating. And there's just this, this odd pair who are clearly, they clearly have each other's backs, right? And that's just because there's so many unique characters and they all have such interesting things to do that you really have to pay attention to follow all the action. And um, because the looks are 
constantly evolving. It's kind of like, wait, 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 is that the, that's okay. That's the same person, you know, because it's like the looks in this, I mean, really big shout out to the costuming. Um, and just all the comedic performances to me, I felt like were really, really strong, really spot on. And every single person really leaned into their character very heavily. And it's what made it funny. That was insane. <laughs> um, in a good way. This is one of the reasons why I feel like uh, setting up your rules in Act 1 is so important. Because this movie was absolute insanity, but because they let us know right from the get what we were getting, you know, as the movie went on, you just, you rolled with it, you know, like, um, no matter what came up, uh, it was okay, because this was the world that we were a part of. And so, um, you know, with every twist, every turn, I, I loved it, because it was just this wacky campy crazy adventure and it was so much fun um i had so much fun watching this one and um yeah i uh i hope that post credit scene at the end wasn't actually a bluff and that's an actual thing that's uh coming out because um i'm really curious to see what this world comes up with because like i said like it was so much fun <laughs> So I really liked all the performances um, in general, but I really loved Crunch the most and all those performances. Um, I especially loved the last one just because I thought that person really committed to their character. Um, all of them did, but the last one just stood out for me. The last guy that played Crunch, last person that played Crunch. Um just everything about this, I, I feel like it had sort of a retro feel, maybe like a late 80s, early 90s feel to it with the music. Um, there were so many different, like, I guess this was, you know, based, the the, care, the, um, the title, Enter the Dragon, I believe is a kung fu movie. Um, and there was a lot of the kung fu in it, the influence, but also I just felt like there was a lot of, um, just fun sort of 80s vibes going on. Uh, love the costumes. Um, just the whole cast was very well cast. All good performances. Um, to make this material work, you have to have the right cast. And like I said, they all grew on me. Um, it was an interesting ride. And it also had like a like a Goonies vibe a little bit with the map and the painting and trying to find the map and the fortune. And then there was like maybe even like a Beetlejuice vibe with the ghost in the theater. I don't know. It was just all over all these different things going on. But it all kind of came back and it came around at the end. Um, it all came together. And I liked that it started and ended with the same location because at first I felt like the zombie part of it was like a whole nother movie. But then as it went along, I could see how it made sense to me. That was biting off a lot, but you guys did it and really made it come together well um, for a feature like this. And it just kept me going, what's happening next? And these characters I love the the part where the girl comes back. Jaws is, is a zombie now. She comes back and she's in the theater with the booby. Um, cracked me up. And just some crazy stuff, but it all makes sense in the end somehow. <laughs>